Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Good morning to everyone. All are warm. Welcome to our online class. My dears, how are you? I think you are fit and fine. May Allah shower his mercy upon you and me. Dears, have you taken your breakfast? Sure. Okay. Today we are going to continue our new chapter, Measurement. Firstly, we have discussed and studied about the basic unit of length. Basic unit of length. It's very important to measure length to study the basic unit. What is the basic unit of length? Yes, meter. Then, meter going larger and smaller. Kilometer, hectometer decameter, meter, then decimeter, then centimeter, then millimeter. Okay. Likewise, we have discussed in our previous class about basic unit of weight, the basic unit of mass. Both are same. What is the basic unit of mass? Yes. Me meter? No. No meter, but yes, gram. Gram is the basic unit of weight. If you purchase vegetable or rice or other things needed for cooking, what will you ask for shopkeeper? Sure, you will ask, give me one kilogram rice. 500 gram sugar and so on then you use to measure the weight meter kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter millimeter okay these are the units derived from the basic unit of weight Okay, meter, sorry, this the measurement of weight, gram, kilogram, hectogram, and decigram, sorry, decagram, and gram, then decigram, centigram, and milligram. Okay, yes. Today, we are going to study to measure the capacity to measure the capacity how can you measure the capacity if i ask there is a glass in your house what is the capacity of this glass if you pour the water in this glass if you take the glass if you uh, requested if you are requested to drink one liter water every morning if you are asked how can you measure how can you measure yes you want a measurement what is the basic unit of the measurement of capacity of a glass or a bottle whatever it may be what is the capacity how can you measure can you use the kilometer can you use the meter or can you use the gram no gram is used to measure the weight and a meter is measure used to measure the length then my question the capacity of a anything to use to measure the capacity of anything we use we use liter liter is the basic unit of capacity today the last part of this chapter measurement we have to study the liter we have to study liter okay take your textbook page number 111 okay capacity the basic unit or the standard unit of capacity is liter what is liter l what 
okay basic unit of capacity is liter liter to measure larger quantities to measure larger quantities we use decaliter hectoliter and kiloliter which are the decaliter hectoliter kiloliter yes we can write at the center liter okay liter and the largest to measure the capacity of large thing then we use decaliter what is decaliter liter the small letter l small letter l represents the liter okay smallest l is used to represent liter okay then decaliter okay d e c a l i t r e decaliter dal d a l then larger than this thing then you use hectoliter what is hectoliter then largest one kiloliter kiloliter smaller deciliter and uh, centiliter then milliliter okay dl cl ml listen here now we are discussing about the measurement of capacity the basic unit of capacity is liter the basic unit of measurement is measurement of the capacity is liter l then if it is larger than decaliter if it is larger than decaliter then hectoliter at last kiloliter as we studied in meter and gram the largest measurement of the gram we use kilogram we use kilogram likewise we use here kiloliter after that hectoliter then decaliter if it is smaller than the liter then deciliter then centiliter milliliter okay as we studied about the gram and meter it means the difference between these two places 10 okay then it is the basic unit basic unit this yes 10 liter okay 10 liter one decaliter is 10 liter hectoliter 10 into 10 liter means 100 liter here 10 into 10 into 10 liter it means thousand liter okay then here 1 by 10 liter okay then here 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 centiliter means 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 liter means 1 by 100 liter here 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 liter means 1 by 
thousand liter. Okay. Please listen here. A liter basic unit of the capacity. Then decaliter dal means ten liter. Hectoliter hundred liter. Kiloliter thousand liter. Then deciliter one by ten liter. Centiliter one by ten into one by ten means one by hundred liter. Milliliter means one by ten into one by ten into one by ten into L. Then one by thousand liter. Okay, these are the order of the units of liter. Liter. Yes, it is very important to consider and study it deeply. Both are same pattern, meter and liter. Not only meter and liter, but also which gram, then meter, gram, liter. These are the three basic units of weight, length, and capacity. The pattern of the derived measurement are same. Okay? Yes. Then the following examples will make it clear. This concept will be clear more when we take the examples. Okay, let us convert. Listen here. You have to write down in your notebook, okay, all this. Yes. First question. Convert. 4 kilogram into sorry 4 kiloliter no kilogram 4 kiloliter into liter okay how can you convert this 4 kiloliter into liter yes you can convert first you have to find out 1 kiloliter is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 liter means 1000 liter okay 10 into 10 100 100 into 10 1000 then 1 kilo liter is equal to 1000 liter then you can say it is why it is why therefore 4 Kiloliter is equal to 1000 into 4 or 4000. What is? Yes. 4000 liter. Okay. We have to convert 4 kiloliter into liter. 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter. 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter. We have studied. 1 kiloliter it means 10 into 10 into 10 liter 10 into 10 into 10 liter means 1000 liter then if the 1 kiloliter is a 1000 liter then 4 kiloliter is 4000 kiloliter okay for sorry 4000 liter 4000 kiloliter no 4000 liter okay please listen here we have it is asked to convert 4 kiloliter into liter. First, we find out we know that what 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter. 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter. Therefore, this 3 dot means therefore. Therefore, 4 kiloliter is 1000 into 4. 1000 into 4 liter okay or 4 into 1000 liter it means 4000 liter 4000 liter okay 
this is the first question second question convert 9 centiliter into liter 9 centiliter into liter okay you have to write down in your notebook okay yes convert 9 centiliter into liter can you convert 9 centiliter means yes first we have to find out 1 centiliter we know 1 centiliter means 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 liter it means 1 by 100 liter therefore therefore 9 centiliter 9 centiliter means 9 into 1 by 100 centi so liter okay 1 centiliter means 1 by 100 liter so 9 centiliter means 9 into 1 by 100 liter 9 into 1 by 100 liter it means you have to multiply this 9 with the fraction this is a whole number this is a fraction how can you multiply a whole number and a fraction very simple please give one convert this whole number as a fraction okay then into 1 by 100 9 into 1 9 1 by 100 1 into 100 100 so 9 by 100 liter you can convert this fraction as a decimal how can you yes give 0 0.09 0 0.09 liter okay 0 0.09 liter is the answer here the 9 centiliter means 0 0.09 liter 0 0.09 liter Okay, then there are B questions, D question. Let us discuss. First, convert 3 hectoliter to decaliter. Okay, convert 3. You have to write down, okay. Question 3 hectoliter <coughs> 2 decaliter into liter. You have to convert. Okay. How can you convert? First, find out the hectoliter 1 hectoliter yes we say what is 1 hectoliter we have studied yes 10 into 10 10 into 10 liter it means 100 liter then therefore 3 hectoliter means 3 into 100 liter means 300 liter okay 3 into 100 300 sure then here decaliter 2 decaliter 2 decaliter 1 decaliter means 1 dal yes 1 dal means 10 liter 1 dal means 10 liter we have studied then therefore therefore 2 dal 2 dal 2 into 100 liter is equal to 2 into 10 liter so, no 100 liter then 20 liter 
okay here we get 300 liter and 20 liter total 300 liter plus 20 liter is equal to 320 liter okay 320 liter yes very simple okay if you have any doubt you can ask our question 3 hectoliter 2 decaliter into liter first one hectoliter means 100 liter then we converted 3 hectoliter into liter 3 into 100 liter then 100 liter 300 liter then one dal one dal decaliter 10 liter then two dal 2 into 100 10 liter then 20 liter total 300 liter plus 20 liter is equal to 320 liter okay clear yes if you have any doubt you can ask okay then exercise 5.3 is very important convert the following larger unit into smaller unit and a second question convert the following smaller unit into larger unit third question convert the following larger unit into smaller unit you have to convert okay then we have studied the main points of this chapter we have covered this chapter the main points of this chapter first measurement of length and a measurement of weight measurement of capacity okay three important points length measurement of length measurement of weight measurement of capacity standard unit of length meter and a large length measured in uh, decameter hectometer kilometer smaller length measured in uh, decimeter centimeter millimeter okay weights standard unit gram large weights measured in decagram hectogram kilogram small weights measured in decigram centigram milligram capacity measurement of capacity standard unit liter large length measured in deciliter hectoliter kiloliter small length measured in deciliter centiliter milliliter okay comparison we have studied okay then there is life skill you have to find out the answer a tap leaks three 30 drops every minutes 30 drop every minutes three drops measure two milliliter please listen here a tap leaks three so, sorry 30 drops 30 drops every minute three drops measure two milliliter adile moonu thulligal rendu milliliter undu angane engil how many liters of water how many liters of water leak out in one day oru divasam etra liter vellam avade leak aayi povunnundu discuss the importance of saving water water is very important the integral part of our life if there is no water then the living life is impossible okay yes then you have to find out the answer of the question then values for life okay hordes if you have any doubt you can ask okay we have covered this chapter then next class we can discuss about the time and calendar okay thank you very much for watching this video assalamu alaikum warahmatullah